Ellensburg, Washington. It is at the threshold of the Puget Sound and is the gateway to the Scrub Steppe. If you've traveled to Seattle from eastern Washington, then you've likely driven past our town. But if you journey deeper in, you'll find a community and a town that is truly at the center of Washington State. Before there was Ellensburg, the Kittitas Valley was a hub and fruitful land for Native Americans. They would use the valley for mostly root gathering, uh, summer gathering. Um, so the Yakima River had a lot of salmon, same with the Columbia. Um, they would go after the elk in the upper county area, uh, berry picking in the same areas, and then um, they had a major winter encampment. One of the earliest white men to describe the valley was Alexander Ross, a fur trader who was traveling with two French-Canadian trappers and their wives. In 1814, Ross entered the Kittitas Valley and he stumbled upon an extraordinarily large gathering. This mammoth camp could not have contained less than 3,000 men, exclusive of women and children, and treble that number of horses. It was a grand and opposing sight in the wilderness, covering more than six miles in every direction. Councils, root gathering, hunting, horse racing, foot racing, gambling, singing, dancing, drumming, yelling, and a thousand other things that I cannot mention were going on around us. In the mid-1840s, the Catholic missionary Oblates of Mary Immaculate set out to establish missions in the lower Yakima Valley. So this mission, which was called Immaculate Conception, was built around 1848 at the mouth of the Manastash Creek. Um, it was used to do regular church services, baptisms, marriages, as well as interpretation skills. Unfortunately though, with the connection in the Yakima Wars of 18. 55 to 1856, Immaculate Conception Mission was burned to the ground by the U.S. Army. They had falsely believed that there were um, arms and ammunition being stockpiled. Everything changed in March 1853. Washington was established as an official U.S. territory and the Native Americans signed away 90% of their land. The treaty was not meant to go into effect until 1859. However, Territorial Governor Isaac Stevens advertised that the land was open to settlement less than a month after the treaty was signed in 1855. As you can imagine, conflicts involving Native Americans soon followed. The Yakima War um, ended around 1856 officially but there were still skirmishes and uh, renegades. Regardless, settlers flocked to the area. The valley was located at a natural crossroad for Washington Territory. There was ample land to be claimed for crops and for livestock, and many important natural resources could be found close by. Settlers were able to claim 160 acres at minimum through the Homestead Act of 1866. And then with that Homestead Act, um, Civil War veterans could claim land. Others could have new opportunity. Many were pushed out from the East Coast, seeing their entire lives destroyed by the Civil War. Um, family lost, land lost. Even the founder of Ellensburg was a Civil War veteran. When the town of Ellensburg was platted in 1875, the Kittitas Valley changed. For better or for worse, the valley would forever be in the hands of the white man.